good morning. I am just going to do a line clip on a cat for you and give you guys um, some examples of what I do. Okay. So this is Roxy. As you can see, Roxy's yeah, of course. Roxy's a Persian, so there's why she's breeding quite funny. She's actually quite matted. Um, I don't think we're gonna make much of a lion cut tum neck, maybe on the top with the back that's rock solid around the edges. She's also quite uh, thick through here and knotted, which, um, and we've got all the underneath area as well. So we're just gonna give her a line clip. I'll move the table over for you and just show you what I do. So to get the bulk off, I like to use the Oster clipper and just an Oster template. <clears throat> and I will be using the Bravara on a 10 Okay, getting my clippers ready. Have a comb to comb out the neck area and then have the nail clippers that I start with. Okay, so most importantly, clip your nails on your cat, leaning over your cat so they're close to you, feel secure. Pressure down here and hand over the neck. Oh, that's a long one that's growing into the skin. Let's pull that out. As you can see, the size of that nail is quite large. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Oh, big nails. You have need dog nail clippers for these. Mm, very light brown. See it? Oh, that's a gunk. See, madam. If you retract your paws out, um, it's quite easy to be able to get them through all the hair, but sometimes you're gonna to have to tuck that hair back. Not always an easy kitty to do, but we'll see how we go today. Good girl. Lift you up, round you come. Same rule, lean over the neck. Push the cat into you with this arm. And find those nails in there. I'll just go this way. Not too close, not as bad. <clears throat> and that one. Okay, all trimmed, just in case she calls me. She doesn't get right into my skin. Hang on. You feel good when you get all this hair off. Hmm? That's it. Okay. You are a little bit bawling. Okay, firstly, I think I'll do the hygiene just so if she does get cranky. Okay. Thank you already, but I haven't even started yet, sweetheart. Very tight now for some videos. So I just have to be very gentle. Because it's stuck to the skin. Good girl. Always watching out the nipples, stretching and straightening the skin. It's nice and flat. Okay, I've got through with it. 
I will always swap between my Bravara and my Oster when I'm cooking. I like to clear around to see where my boobies are first. So that's the area I'll do nice and slowly. Nice strip up the belly. A lot of people um, prefer to have someone to hold when they do a cat. Uh, I prefer to do them alone so everyone else can keep grooming and doing what they have. You'll always find some kitty cats with extra nipples. I always pretend, whether they got them or not, that they've already got them. Just so I'm extra careful. Hate to knock off a little nipple. So knowing where they are is a good thing. You'll usually find the extra nipples down in the lower section and never really find any up in the top section. So I to clear all this. Just so I know when I start clipping, I'm safely protecting those nipples. And I'm going to get very hairy. Okay. Everything's got to be taut, filled up. Side. And I'll do a hygiene. If um, I find the coat sticking and it's really dirty, it's not coming off really well because of the matting, I won't do as neat first. I want to get the worst out. These are really tight, right on our flanks. Just below that little one area. Just clear that little bottom one on here. Good girl. All right, I'll do those rest of the bits. I'm gonna come through with the tin. I'll just change that just in case it gets warm. Never click with a hot blade either. Okay, so she likes the full tail, quite matted around all down there, but we'll try and give her a nice tail. I'm going to start from here. Right through. Try and get your lines nice, stretching your skin. Wrinkles. Alright. We can go over some areas, but we've got to have a bath and then we'll go over here again.
So just to be comfortable, I'm doing the flat areas first where I can see and I would like to still pull up. See how you have to, if you click a wrinkle, you can cut that skin. Nice, nice stretch. So my octopus uh, helps me get through a lot of these yucky parts of the coat quite quickly. And rather than putting all that strain on a trimmer with the bravara, it makes it easier. My bravara will last a lot longer. And the blades, of course. Okay. So this time go on this side so you can see what I'm trying to do. Just keep testing that blade. Swap it over. So really warm. Go to the leg. Stretch it because we've got all this fluffy skin. I'm actually going down the leg at the moment because of the massive area. And I want to try and get it done relatively quickly because she, I don't want to go over her threshold. Then I can clean up my leg line after I've given her a nice good bath. Yeah, boom, just in there. So when the cat wants to stay in the mood, just relax, don't tense up. Um, the way you hold them because then they'll tense up more. So just give them a little wiggle, ask to stretch that leg out gently. Get some of this off the bottom end. Always stretching that skin for it. As you can see, I'm still going with the grain at some areas and then they'll clean her up after that. So just stretching out that muscle. This area behind the cat is an area that you will always cut if you don't do it carefully. Cut wood, I haven't uh, done one that I've seen. Um, same as a dog, so just take precaution and never go down with it, always go and stretch it out and come around that side. Just because it's so thin in that area. So I sometimes pop them up that way. Yep. Okay. I'll just turn her around. Check the blade, still okay. And get this side off. Have to go down the tail a little bit. It's just to clear that area for her hygiene. I usually like to go a centimeter, two centimeters just above the tail. Now, when you're coming around the back end, just be careful because that skin is very, very wrinkly and very, very easy to cut. So, it's really getting trim now to the back. So, to get down this leg, I'm just going to go with the blade again. See how I do an L shape with my hand to stretch it out? She's very quickly there, okay. So stretch, do an L shape like that, stretch it out. And only take that section. 
that you're holding nice and stretched. Don't be tempted to go to another bit because it looks like you can get it because there could be a wrinkle underneath it. So that's my rule of thumb and that way you won't cut back. Down to this shoulder area as well, it's very, very saggy skin. So what you want to do is always stretch that out as well. Particularly in front of the leg. So up here a little, and then that lip. Oh, it's nice and tight in there. So, come up for a little step. I never go down the neck or shoulders. They come across, so I know that it coats flat. And you can come up, and to know that that skin's nice and flat. Okay, that's getting warm now. So I'll just swap and use the bravara on the tent. Might just go under the armpit a little. Going with the grain at this stage. She likes to bite too, so I've got to be careful. I'm being very trusting with her at the moment. Make sure those little whiskers. I'm going to make sure you don't want to get the whiskers. Okay, I'm going to roll it over. See how I get under the armpit. Uh, 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 uh. So don't strain or worry the cat. Sweat tissue relaxes. Cut that leg. Just keep the hand on them. And they're still when you can get that leg. Just very gently. Oops, trying to bite. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold her up, stretch her back a little, and I'm going to come across this shoulder now, just gently. Okay. Because she's a bar here, I'll just put that there. There we go. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Something must be bothering you around here because it's extra matted. She's trying to bark. What I found with a lot of Persians as well, they get very, very tender around their legs. Whether it's arthritis setting in, but I have had a lot of old cats. Uh, they're very, very tender, but they're very, very old as well. And little parts that I can see I can fix while I'm here. Okay, that neckline, you push it down, and when you go straight up here, to the shoulder here, it actually won't let you go any further. You can feel a little stop. So that's where you stop, and then you make your line coming around for your line neck. Okay, so now just go back to this back leg where she was playing up. This is not an easy little kitty. I'm trying not to push her buttons. Okay. Look out. Oh, not here, Mama. Okay, we'll just go down ways for the moment. Get that off. leg out. As you can see I'm coming around this way, never going down the back of the Achilles or above the hop. Okay, back to this one. Just going to stretch it out for a minute. Yeah. 
if she cares I'm telling her she's a good girl or not. But it's a nice vibe that they can feel through you. You're talking calmly. to hold her leg up. Come around the inside here. She's thinking I want to bite you, so I do know these cats, so I just take precaution. I don't really feel like putting a nice she has been having a chew here, it's really tight. This is where she's very tender. I'm just going to pull up her shoulder skin to the side because this is where she likes to bite. <laughs> Stretch around again. Yep, here you go. Head to the side. And her arm here. Just making sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wait. No. Okay, I'm trying to be nice to you. Get all your nuts out. I've got my little finger over <laughs> here. Good girl. I know you want to go for the dive. Just be careful. So what you can see that I'll do all my lines after the bath. Nice warm bath might settle it down a bit and nice dry. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll neaten up. Now that's pretty much what I do with a cat who's very sensitive, but you might not think it is because she has been behaving quite well. Um, but, oh, sorry, I've got hair. Pussycat hair everywhere. So we've done our neck line around here, which we will neaten up as well. Um, also, the reason why I like the Bravaras is uh, they don't go full force and they stay cooler for longer for all those intricate areas that you need to do on the cat. Okay, so just so you can see, I'll just sit it up there. I'll clean this up after the bath, but oh, she's been patient for all those little bits. Trying to blend off some of that because she gets a little messy. And then this one here. You can see I'm stretching all that skin. in the bath messy so what I'll just do now is um, just <clears throat> get rid of some of that yuck in her tail because it's very 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 thick just get rid of all her hair that's everywhere good girl you have got all this hair on the bench okay usually I'll do this in the bath but I just want to get out this big bulky bit up here 
So when I'm combing, I'm just using small areas. So I'm just using a fine comb, using a couple of teeth and slowly sliding it over so it's not painful on the cat. But we have to just do it quick. And then they all come out. Just get out that big bulby bit. The rest will get out after the bath just because their span of uh, being good, the time limit, it's not so great if you do all the grooming beforehand. So, but I do need to get this bit out. It's pretty yucky. That's it. I'm just holding on to the skin so I'm not touching it. And then again, I'm pulling out those bits. Okay. All right. The little areas around the neck. There's one that I can just pluck out. Um, just here. So I'll turn it around so you can see. She's got a few thick areas in their head. Just gently pluck those out as well. Um, this area here, there's that big knot. So if you just pick at them quite finely, they will come out. So pluck. If you're taking too much, you don't want to hurt them. Um, same is when you're grooming the cat, you don't want to groom a wrinkled skin, so you still must stretch out that coat. Pull. Now this cat usually gets really, really grumpy, but I try not to push her buttons, as always when I groom her. And there's a couple of yucky bits around there that I'll just slowly pick out like that. <clears throat> just gentle, and then they can come out. So make sure you're always from underneath that and from the skin. Okay, so we'll just go take her in and we'll give her a bath and see if we can clean her up and get off all this rest of that fluffy hair. Okay, bath time. Okay, let's take you to the bath. All right. Yeah. Let's get rid of that lead. I've got my chubs bar here ready and waiting. I've got a towel ready and waiting. Okay. I also use um, some Petway cat shampoo as well. As well as my chubs bar. Always get the water temperature right before you put it on the cat. Okay. Oop. All right. I'll just face her away from me, always holding the scrub when I turn the tap on. So she can get a fright. Let her hear that money for a minute because I'm being very careful as I also have my phone in the bath just so I can show you what I do all right okay good guys so when we're in the bath as well we want to make sure that we scrub their chins really well and under here where they eat food or they could get chin acne um, a thorough wash through the body and the legs okay that's warming up now I'm just going to pop it over there. Get her down. Pick her up. up, up, up. And the knees get her wet. As you can see, I haven't got the pressure hard on the toes because I hate to get it in her nose. Which is got a flat nose. Okay. Under her bottom and just work that down. Okay. Sit that there. Turn it off. Alright. Oh, get my 
Chubbs bar. I get the, the Chubbs bar is great to get underneath the chin as well. Uh, oh, there you go. It's because it's easy to hold and you're not stopping and starting with the shampoo. Okay. She goes, oh, she doesn't do it on the bath. But anyway, so we'll just go for this bathing procedure. Now just remember in, um, she does like to bite if she feels like it. Not all the time. And when we wash, I just pick up a leg. If she wants to jump up on there, that's fine. I'm happy for her to do that, as long as she doesn't claw me. My rule of thumb is always to have a cat um, facing away from you when you are bathing them, if you don't know them. Um, because the first thing they want to do is run and climb and they'll climb up you and I have been climbed in the nipple before so it's a lesson that I've learned a bit of grass seeds in here yep okay so I want to give her a good wash especially down her legs Under here. Turn you around. Mm. Under the bottom. And your tail. Always having a good hold of your cat in the bar. See how I'm not holding her scrub, I'm just holding like a ring lock around her neck just to support her. If I find that I've got a cat that is a really big fat cat and I can't actually grab any skin or around his neck, what I do is I actually put a loop around through the shoulder um, and under the belly just to help me grab the cat that decides to take off. All right. Just remember to scrub those tails really well. Okay. Right, so we'll turn the tap on again. Concentrate on doing these little ladies. Yeah. Let's pump that out. Yep. Pump some on the tail. Yep. And the bottom over the body. Yes, I know, you want to get out. But you want to have two washes to get you really clean. Yep, and it won't be a long one. And the tail. So I'm not stressing about holding her either. I'll just always keep a 
control of a hand on her. Okay, second wash was easy. I always rinse around my neck first because I like to have a, a good hold around the neck if they feel like they're going to take off because then it's not so slippery for me uh, to grab. Under there gently, under the chin. There you go. careful not to get water in the ears because the cat will take the days and could also end up with an infection or something. Oh, you like that bit. Do it take off. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 Make sure you really rinse out those legs to get through your heels. And your body. As I'm holding her leg, I'm actually using my fingers to rinse out the soap. And rinse it out the tail. The very thick tail. And then you see so everyone can see it. to squeeze out just the, the hairy parts. Give the tail a little squeeze. Grab my towel. Wrap her up. Oh, see goes. Okay. Okay, now I'll just bear with me while I take the phone over to the bench. I'll get a towel to put on it. I did have my poodle in here, so got some scissors. Okay, I just like to put a towel down as well. I'm not using the caddy shack today, so I'll just show you. It's on a towel. Pop the pussy cat down. Okay. All right, sweetheart. All right, I'm clean the ears with uh, alcohol wipes, which I'll be back in one minute. I'll just grab those, sorry. So I do saline their eyes and alcohol wipes. Okay, always a separate one, just tear it open. All right, clean inside that ear. Look, she's got a lot of goddies there. Um, I'll show you her other ear in a second. But all I'm doing is just getting that, that wax out of the ear and trying to clean it right to the end. <clears throat> Don't be alarmed by any pigment that you see. It's not dirt. Um, the cats have pigment in their ears as well. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. I'll do the other ear. Oh, she's wrapped up. I might just bring the camera to show you. That's uh, the ear, and then we're going to clean that up. Go. All right. It's the alcohol wipe. Get 
gets in there nicely. It's very drying as well, so it's not going to leave a wet, soggy ear. You can clean the cat's ears at home as well when you find that there's lots of uh, wax building up in there or any debris that comes from ranting around the garden. There you go. Nice clean ears. Okay. All right, I'll just get you cotton wool. Okay, I've got some saline on my cotton wool. And all I'm gonna do is just clean out my eyes. Especially Persians, they get really, really dirty eyes. So I actually pull the skin up here just to stretch it out. Good girl. Uh, then again, ew, that's all the gunk just from the eye area. So you want to get another one with saline and then just do the other side. Just gently, just getting all that gunk that collects in the corner. She must be itchy there, aren't you? Hey, good girl. It's along that lip, the lip line, the eye line. There you go. There you go. There you are. Okay. All right. So now I just want to give her a little rub down and then I'm going to put the dryer on her. I'm going to use the dryer on low just for her fluffy bits. Um, if you've got a cat that gets upset with the, um, with the, uh, the noise of the dryer, um, you can just use a stand dryer and you can put a happy hoodie around their head. But what I always do for some protection is I wrap the towel around the head like that. And then I'll just bring that forward, the rest of the towel. And pop the pussycat there, just so it blocks the noise. But also when I'm holding the cat, um, I'll also, I'll just turn around and show you where my hand is. If she gets a fright from the dryer, she's gonna to wanna to turn around and bite my fingers. So I'm protecting myself from her claws here, but then I go like this and I pop the towel like that over my fingers so if she does bite she bites a chunk of the towel before she actually bites me <laughs> all right i will just get the dryer and i'll pop that on and see how she goes and i'll pop it on low okay
go with the dryer as I um, as she warms up. I mean, as the towel, um, just so she starts to feel comfortable. All right, so I'm just going to use my stand dryer. You can keep using a um, a lasting dryer, but just on low. But I've just got my stand dryer here, and I'm going to just dry through her now on those uh, softer parts.
the design clip, either with a, a bravara all the way or you can use the Oster all the way. Um, both very good, but if you use the Oster, just make sure you've got a few blades lined up just so they're cool. Um, and then that way you're not going to give the cat a burn on its skin or anything like that and you're taking all precautions. It's very important uh, to have a nice cool blade. It'd be like a bot, a bot fire on a horse. You know, they sting. So, and then they'll only get irritated, they'll lick at it um, if you have some type of little rash there. Alright, so checking my tail through. with the grooming. Okay, 
All right. So now that she's clean, she's looking quite good. There's a bit of a reflection on there. There we go. Still a bit of a reflection down on the video. Okay, so we're just going to tidy up all those areas that um, she didn't like earlier and make sure our, our lines are really, really crisp. Okay, so our tail, let's start with my tail and get that line nice. Okay. So we got a bald spot on the tail. Yes, we'll be quick. And then all I want to do is go over, if that's pretty good, fix up the line areas. Really much take off. Just want to make kitty nice and smooth. Anyone who's going to go practice for their masters, you want to make sure that you don't have any lines um, in your cat that have longer bits of hair and. Shorter bits of hair, you want it level everywhere. <laughs> okay, just tie up under the armpits. Make a nice line for this. Forgotten about being nasty under the armpits, have you? Okay, we'll hold up two. I don't know, you want to bite me now. I know, two legs. Okay. Okay. And this is an area that you want to be very careful on sloppy skin and wrinkles. So never clip down that area there where that thin bit of sinew is. Okay, she's covering it. I like to do is actually hold here, hold here, just stretch her up, like that. Sneaking up these areas. Now, as they wrinkle, you want to be very, very careful. I know. <laughs> She's trying to get me. up around on here. Just be careful around here. You find some hair will grow a different way. This up, move this, that, 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 there you go, back around. Okay, just fixing up the lines here. Thank you. 
Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris. Okay. Come on. Okay. If you can see, here yeah, we need to fix up these lines. It doesn't matter where you go on your line, as long as it's nice and neat. Clean up these bits. If you can try and stretch that leg. Up under the belly again. Unfortunately, I can't hold her while I'm trying to eat my elbow. Like some of the other cats, because I don't want to tear her off. Can you get on this side? I'll just show you how to stretch that leg out. Under here, if you can see. Nice and smooth. This front leg. She wants to get me, so I'm going to hold her up like that. Okay, just watch those wrinkles in there. You may have lots of rolls on the here, so you have to be very careful. Don't press too hard um, because it's the, the pressure that you, you uh, go on the blade as well, which can do some damage if you're not careful. going to stretch her arm out this way. I actually use my hand to push this away, just trying to bite, um, and come under here like that. <laughs> you are cute. Right. I know you don't like the clipper under there, so I'm going to have to hold it up like this way. Okay, just holding her up here. And my rule is, if you can't see an area or skin, don't clip it. Don't even risk it. So, getting those hairy bits under her arms. Just to make her arms nice and neat. Okay. So, uh -huh. checking under here. I think these leg lines are okay. All right, now we just want to check around the head area and fix up these neck lines. And some of those, madam. Yeah, I know. It's time to finish now. You just let me finish there. Uh -uh. Yep. So as you can see, we've gone a little bit higher, only because of her matting. Push around to the side. 
I'm just going to clean all this hair off. Um, Persians usually pluck um, jawline around their face as well. We also do an eye trim and an ear trim. Just pluck these areas. Doesn't need much plucking because it came out when I was bathing. Okay, oh, I'll just show you a little eye trim which she's going to accept. Um, usually a blunt tip scissor that to use on the eye area as well. But all you want to do is just this little area here. Just tap, tap, desensitize, open the scissors slightly. And we just want to go over that eye. Just over the eye. And what that does is just open the eyes up. Um, just do a little bit more there. Okay, cleans up around the eyes. And then all we do is we tip around the ears. Do not uh, take off these hairs. So it's just the very edges of the ear. She looks like she's been fighting because she's actually got a little tip in her ear. Oh, someone's beeping you up. That's it. Pull those little hairs to the side. Just slightly trim those ears just a little bit. Okay. Now what I... Um, I'm going to do for her as well is I'm just going to do a foot trim underneath here um, so she doesn't get all her um, hair stuck in the kitty litter and walk out of the tray with bits of poo on it. Okay, just pluck these areas here. Still got a comb through. Very Okay. I'll show you how to do the Magna Carta on those bits. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to quickly pop a trimming blade on, which is the, the 40. Just going to tidy up underneath those hairy pads. Just like that. So this is the trimming blade. Like that. Check for this one. I hold the paw together because I don't want to go in between the pads. Um, just want to just take them off level. That way they're nice and neat. Oops, they just squash the foot together. And just neaten up that as well. everywhere again. It's going through the tail. Okay. Uh -oh. Come here, sweetie. Little Roxy. she can have. Right, I'll just quickly show you the um, I'll just show you the um, 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 the Magna Carta. I think the Magna Carta is brilliant. Okay so all this soft hair I've put the comb over it several times I'll show you again I've got an even finer comb and I'm not getting anything out. 
but I can still see that there's all this dead hair in there. I get this little Magna Carta. These are great. These are the ones from Sam Cole. And I gently just comb out towards the edge of the ear, top of the head, just nice and gently on a 45 degree angle. Just drag it through and you'll see all the hair that it gets out. As you can see. Okay, and those Magna Cartas are $42 and we do sell them as well. Um, they're great on Pomeraniums, uh, little legs that you can't get the comb through. They're great on D-sheds. Um, fantastic for all those other coated breeds that get fuzzy cheeks like Samoids, Chow Chows. Um, this is great to pull out all that hair because the comb ain't going to do it. You're enjoying that now, aren't you? Okay, these are really good on the legs. See how I still left the dead hair in the legs? That's just so I can give you an example of how we can comb through the legs. And she doesn't like her legs being touched. So we'll just whisk it. You've got one big whisker and one black whisker on the other side. Uh -huh. Okay. Is that your favourite leg to get me? Yes. Uh, see all the hair it's removing? <laughs> Don't bite that. Silly. Okay. She's had enough. Okay, so I'll just show you a little bit on the back leg. And to grab all that out. And it's scraping out all that dead fluffy hair that the comb won't get. You don't want to go over it too many times because um, you don't want to scratch their skin either or make it pink. It's just enough to keep the hair out. Okay, especially down those toes. Now I'm going to lean on her neck just here with my arm and just go through her toes to get out those other bits of dead hair that you can see the really hard to get with a comb. You can do it with a blade as well, a nice blade on the same angle, but I do like this tool. Okay, 